Hey, Sinjin. Hello, everybody. <laughs> How's it? As I normally like to say, you know, voila. Um, uh, <laughs> Thank you, Sinjin, for being on my show tonight. Like, I never in a million years would ever thought that we'd be live uh, together. You know, life takes you in strange places. You just got to take it and see what happens. You know, I know we got a, whew, a spicy chat going on tonight. So, you know, I'm happy to be here. Thanks for accepting me. And um, let's see what's going to happen, bro. The you know? why you're on the slide tonight with me is because, you know, I guess like Tanya has been like, you know, speaking on podcasts or YouTube interviews or on IG Lives talking about you. And like, you know, when you've been quiet, about her exactly like, and you know you know johnny like for me it was like i'm like i haven't spoken to a podcast or anything about her in two years like when i left i'm truly focused on me going forward and seeking something else yes it was a sad moment leaving you know but that's my past bro and you know what i wasn't that sad like i knew that my life was gonna actually get a little better from going away from this situation i had with tanya wow. and did Tanya ever tell you like who her real soulmate is? Like, as you know, it wasn't you, evidently. Yeah, she Tanya actually believes it was her ex before me. <laughs> God. Yeah. Then I'm like, and he ended up. I, I, I don't want to. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not gonna go into how he ended up. It's just a little crazy story. But yeah, they literally say that like I believe that my soulmate was my ex. That's what was said to me. So. um yeah, I'm a dumbass for uh, getting the tattoo. I still have the bloody wedding ring thing. I'm going to get it removed in Thailand. It's going to be gone. Um, but it's kind of speaking to you now puts a lot of this in perspective for me, Johnny. Like, I feel like I haven't spoken about this to somebody. Like, so that's why well, I feel this needs to be heard, you know. And exactly. Like you know, Tanya's out there saying, all bunch of shit all the time. Like she's she speaks so much about me. I'm wondering if she's over me. Like I'm like, time to move on. Speak about somebody else. You got a new boyfriend and things things are happening. I don't no, know. Girlfriend now, Eve or her, whoever that is. Uh oh. Okay, cool. Yeah, sorry about that. I just I never saw her face because it's always blurred out. So I don't know <laughs> what's happening. Um but other than that, like I just I just wanted to go on a full life, man. Like just stop speaking about me all the time and all these little ins and this, and he did that, and I was always right. And because, to be honest, bro, this is, Tanya's even told me this was like your life will be easier if you just listen to me. And I'm of like, course. whoa, bro, like that's not, yeah, red flags everywhere. Eh? I, you know, I want to say a lot of things right now, which will get me in trouble. I want to say a lot of things right now. I'm getting in trouble, guys. <laughs> I really do. Um, so she yeah. told you that like she was going to go to like Costa Rica for like Hogwarts witchcraft school. While, yeah, while yeah, you she, were there. she definitely mentioned it while I was coming. Like I said, the timing is inconvenient for her, but like I allowed her to go there, allowed her to do whatever she was. I didn't know who she's meeting up with, where she's going. What's her location? I had no idea. I was just like, go be free. And, you know, she was like, I need to be a better person and promote myself as a better person. And I need to do That's this realistic. Trend. And you're, you're okay with that, with her leaving. She was partying. I was. While, you know? while, while, while they were filming and she's partying with men in Costa Rica and getting drunk. Yeah. It, it, look, to be real, it was definitely uncomfortable. As I said, I never had exposure to filming and whatever. And, just having my chick leave and and to be honest, I did I do have a little bit of trust issues. Like I'm not I can't just trust somebody off the bat. Like it takes me a while to build my trust and especially during our long distance, you know, I wasn't always trustworthy of her. Cause she would like just ghost me for three days and then I'd be like, Hey, where have you been? She's like, Oh, sorry, I passed out on my While she was in Costa Rica at Hogwarts. No, no, sorry. I bounced back to our um like when we did the long distance relationship. Okay. She would like ghost me for three days and I would hear back and she would just be like, sorry, my phone died. I don't even need to charge it now. And me just having to believe that and hope that 
she wasn't just doing something else and just sleeping on her friend's couch. Like, so she could leave and go to Costa Rica for witchcraft school, but you could not leave and go to your grandmother's funeral. Oh my, yeah. that, that's so depressing. I'm right so even sorry. Now, like, yo. And the only thing I have of her is I did a, a sneaky visit to South Africa like six months later uh, when I finally got my green card and I was able to leave the country and come back and stuff. And I just, I, yeah, like, it, yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was crazy. And my grandmother's cremated, so I don't have a, cra a, gra a grave. Oh, my it. God. So, yeah, I, I did get to give her a hug two days before I left, so. <sighs> Nobody needs yeah. people to speak for everyone. Like nobody. This is what yeah. This is what irritated me so much. Even she had an opinion on everything. And I'm exactly. like, so your opinion. Like it's fine. You you don't agree, just carry on, or you don't have to. That's why I tell her I call her a politician mouth. Because whenever we used to argue, even if I was right, if I say that cup is upside down and she was and the cup was upside down, but the cup was she would say no what well, actually should be right side down because we had to do this and this dynamic and these people voted for them and this is why the cup up you wrong and i was like there's no way of winning when you have like a politician mouth like i she even admitted herself like she told me keep quiet listen to me follow me and your life will be easier and i was like yo don't tell me that I was <laughs> the opposite. You know what? She says, oh, don't drink today. Oh, well, guess what, buddy? I'm having fun. And how did you feel about her? Like, you know, on the show, you you were portrayed as a drunk all the time. And you listen, know, it, it, it I, was, I'm, I'm portrayed as a drunk because, all the time. So, like, I, yeah. listen, um, how did yeah. you feel about, like, that? Like, that you were drunk all the time and, like, you couldn't, you know, you couldn't do anything in the seniors complex now because you were drunk so, at, at the bar but, or whatever. So here's the tea. You know, I, um, we did our first season. She looked like, we all know how she looked. So second season rolled around. They need something on me because I'm too good of a dude, right? I mean, can't just. You know, so Tanya just speaking about that, my alcohol all the time, even though I don't drink all the time, she speaks about it all the time. And then that creates a narrative and the show runs with that. Because, and then, you know, I'm going to bars doing job interviews, having a beer, and then I have six hours between scenes and I come home tipsy, speak to Tanya, but it makes it look like it was actually, I just walked literally 15 minutes from the bar, but six hours have passed and then she gets on it. Oh, look, you you smell like beer again when you come home. I'm like, well, I've been to the fucking pub. The owner of the pub that I just got job interviewed, after my job interview, he bought me beer and shots. He's like, dude, you want shots and beer? I'm like, yeah. You know, and then I go home later and it becomes like this whole. But she made you seem beer. like you were a drunk who was incapable of anything. And uh, a loser, pretty much. You know, she, That's what she said. Yeah. You know, she was she was already looking like a shitty human being, so she probably had to make me look shitty as well. And even though that happened, I still feel like a lot of fans resonate. Yeah, there's people like you're an alcoholic, but also I'm a South African. Our drinking culture, like I'll have. Who a cares if you drink? Who cares? You know, I'll have some wine whenever. I don't care if it's Monday, Monday morning, Monday afternoon. If I feel like a beer, I'm gonna have one. I don't. I really don't care. And that became such a huge thing. Like everybody thinks I'm drunk at 10 a.m. and fucking sloshing around and swearing my wife and pooping on the carpet. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the OnlyFans. Um, you know, she had mentioned recently that like, you know, you're on OnlyFans giving everything away to everybody. And, um, <laughs> You know, yeah. you, you, you post thirst traps, um, and uh, she's above that. What are your yeah. thoughts on that? You, you know, Johnny, like I, um, you know, I, I'm still, I'm on a weight loss journey. I'm about 12, uh, 12 to 14 pounds down about dieting, just cutting on alcohol, just put it out there. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, I posted myself, my weight loss journey, my boxes and she literally, that's what I'm saying, she can't leave me alone. She goes and says, oh my God, Sanjin just posted a thirst, a thirst trap in my boxers. 
one for all. These are boxes for men because there's an extra bulge package, you know. And I'm like, one, have you been walking around with this underwear four years ago? And number two, how the hell do you still know that? And number three, <laughs> like, why the hell do you even say that? What kind of lights are you trying to put up on? Like, she's always trying to put it on her. Oh, he's still wearing my boxes. Posting a third trap, that's so cringe, when she literally makes out with her sister. Like, we don't have to... Wait. You made out with your sister and you worry uh, about me posting in your underwear four years ago. Come on. Wait, and wait, it's wait, wait, underwear. wait, wait, wait. So, huh? You just said she makes out with her sister? Yes. You can, you can go online and buy it or something. She made out with her sister. Full on tongue. Oh, my God. Ah, you know, the whole vibe. And then they want to come call me. Am I hallucinating? My boxes. Come on. <laughs> she makes out with her sister on OnlyFans for money. But then she's going to yell at you for being on OnlyFans. She makes out with her sister. Amen. She made out with her sister. Oh, my Even, God. Uh, oh my yeah, God. bro. It's It's... You can go look it up, but she's there. And it's the same as me making oh out God. of my sister. It's gross, bro. It's gross. Liberals. And then, that's what I see. Like, she does like, nothing oh God, wrong. I can't. But I can't. if I do something that's beyond her seeing, it's cringe. Like, I, this is what I'm speaking out. Like, I'm so tired of her just seeing. Oh, I and you like should be tired of her. And you, sh and you should speak out. Like, this is insane. She makes out with her sister, but she wants to, like, talk about you. And your thirst exactly. traps. Exactly. Oh my this God. is why I'm here speaking. Like I haven't uttered a word of her in two years. But I'm just tired of her saying all the shit about me. And I'm trying to be the yes, bigger man. Trying well, to be yeah. more mentally stable. In order to Crazy. indulge in all this. But I can't help it bro. She, she pushed me to where I need to start talking. So people know like what's really happening. And not just what is her narrative is. And her nine followers that are all... We don't have that one. Yeah. Like I mean, making like for money, like making out your sister for money for like what only yeah. things and, and like unfiltered, I guess, which would bullshit Stephanie in her fart jars, like that. That, that like, exactly. Like, like your, like your, your followers saying that that's incest, bro. That's what it is doing. incest. Yeah. You, you know, know your sister is incest. Yeah, she was. <sighs> this is. The wild. Yeah, that's why I feel like I need to speak yeah, up about right. it because she's just she's thrashing my name everywhere, and I'm like, really, bro? You want to go? We can go, bro. Like, how about you, like crashing into the bike? Yeah, you know that was also a very, very. We went to Thailand together, and um, we were there over Songkrong, which is Thailand's New Year, and uh, she booked us ten day cacao retreat in the forest and eating whatever and doing whatever i was like cool i didn't book that shit i was like i'm gonna do my own thing and it was um was literally new year's which is song crown in time new year's and she told me I, I dropped her off at seven in the morning i had a little motorbike which i rented i dropped off at seven she told me don't go anywhere you cannot drink today because you have to pick me up at seven and i told her listen it's new year's like i want to go have a couple of drinks like in thailand it's a big tradition everybody's on the side of the road throwing you with water and there's people giving you free shots and it's just like a, a great vibe you know and 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 she literally told me you may not drink today you have to pick me up tonight at seven not one of these women retreat women can take me home which is two minutes down the road you have to be there to pick me up and if you're not like that's a problem you know what i'm saying and, and then when she tells me that kind of stuff i'm like you know what like in the beginning i accepted it like okay i'll just go and while everybody's partying, I'll drink a salsa water because I got to pick up Tanya at seven, you know, which I understand. But at this point, I also had some animosity around her. Like, I don't want to do that. I want to be free. I want to go enjoy New Year's with the Thai people. I want to chill. So, you know, we were out there and I said, bugger her. I went and um, some people threw me of water, had a couple shots of them, you know, come back on my bike. And Tanya was like, hey, come pick me up. And I left with the bike and I crashed the bloody thing. Because uh, if you've ever been in Thailand, you know that there's, even especially on the island, there's always sand and it's crazy driving a bike out there. So, yeah, I slipped on the bike. I fell off, pulled the bike on the side. I was completely scratched everywhere. 
I let her know and she was able to get a lift home and I arrived like an hour later and um, it was complete hate towards me, bro. Like I was screwed. Like I was, the hospital was closed. Like was on the island, it's in Kopangan Island. There is not like hospital 24 seven, you know, it's just like a little island. Hospitals maybe open from eight to whatever. And, um, you know, I stepped there and she didn't want to hug me or kiss me. Just started swearing at me. What a piece of shit I am for breaking my, my word and everything. And I was just like, you know, like you can't give me all the mentors. Like I can't live according to how you say I need to be here every day and that I never get any freedom. You know, it's not my fault you signed up to this. Like, I'm also here to have a good time. And um, the next day, I had to go to the hospital, get everything cleaned. Like, it was it was oh bad, you know. And I, um, they actually advised me to stay in the hospital for longer. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm leaving. Because Tanya even said, like, this is a lot of money. We got to get you out of here. And I'm like, shit, like, I, I, okay, I'll get this it. I'll get some bandage. Like, I, I, I remember, like, them cleaning up my wounds. I was yeah, so needed, like, like, more medical care, like, yeah, and, and we went back home and they were like, you need like two weeks of care, like bed care. I was screwed, bro. And Tanya was no hug, no sympathy. I went every day to sit in the shower. I took a chair, I sat in the shower and to wait myself and I pulled the scabs off when they wake was easier and rebandaged myself for two weeks. Tanya gave me no sympathy, not even a hug, nothing. She said, this is all your fault. I'm she's dead shit. inside why did i do this i'm like yeah you no know, like, or soul gave, yeah and i was like you gave me the ultimatum and and i was like this is bullshit. like i can't wait around for you 12 hours and just wait somewhere like i want to have fun like it's new year's of the people like it's not my fault you booked this cacao retreat for 10 days with some woman in a banana tree like i need to like also join my life you know and i think it's all fading and she she gave me Nothing, bro. I healed myself. And uh, I heard her on the podcast the other day. She's like, oh, I wish I really I really gave Sinjin uh, more love because I think his inner child needed it. Once again, I'm like, yo, listen. It's not an inner... We don't have to go past trauma, trauma issues. Like, she always likes to go so deep and justify things for her own mind. You know what I'm saying? This is exactly what she's doing. And I'm like, yo, even if I'm a 60-year-old man and fell off a bike, you know, because I drove around the island and I couldn't find you. And, you know, even after I still deserve some sympathy from my wife, some, some love, some yes, empathy, you, some, you, you some, like, you, that. some like, yeah, even if she said, you know, damn, you know, I, I'm sorry that you couldn't wait all day. And I'm sorry that I couldn't book my own lift home. And I'm sorry that I couldn't do it by myself and put it all on you. And I'm like, there was none of that. I was just a piece of shit laying in bed can't sleep, no sympathy. She you didn't want to go drive and get me pain pills. Like nothing, bro. You like, were doesn't taking care. away from her good time. That's it. You were like exactly. you know, a nuisance to her because like, you know, she wants, she wanted to have fun and you were taking away from that because she's a yeah. fucking horrible human exactly. being. You know, it's been wild, bro. And it's nice to finally just speak to somebody that's willing to listen. I can get, you know, my voice out there a little bit. Um, she recently said that, like, um, you, um, use her for things that you need. Yeah. You, you um, know? No, you can finish up. No, go ahead. I, she oh. said, like, you know, she, I, I, I hear from him when he needs something like a green card or, whatever, you know, whatever else. Exactly. Like, dude, this is exactly what I'm speaking about. She's creates her own narrative. Like she went on a podcast with whoever saying, you know, Shinjin doesn't talk to me. He doesn't, he only talks to me when he needs something from me. I'm like, number one, we try to be friends and it doesn't work out. I don't want to talk to you. Don't want to communicate. And number two is yes, for my, to apply for my 10 year green card, she had to still write a one page letter just to say how our marriage was and email that to me whenever, but she went on a podcast saying like, I was just needing her whenever I need something. And I, yeah, you know, like she said, she would, you know, even in the past, she said, Hey, I'd always be there for you if you need to apply for another green card or whatever. And I literally also, Hey, I need one letter for my green card. 
And she went on a podcast and said, he doesn't talk to me. He only calls me when he needs stuff. Oh my God. Like, like she even said, like when he needed the green card. I'm like, you wrote one letter. Come on. I sacrificed so much. I did all the other paperwork myself. She wrote one little letter and went and made it as if it's the only time I want to talk to her. Listen, I don't want to talk to her. Our friendship, it doesn't work out. You're divorced. Like You're done. Like you, you, you guys shouldn't be best friends. Like that's yeah. that's how this yeah, works. I don't want to be. And you know, even when we were trying to be best friends, she would still call me and tell me I shouldn't be doing this right now. I should be doing this because that's best for my life. And I was like, listen, we broke. I'm gone. Why are you still calling me to tell me how to do things? Because that, that's the way she thinks is the best. She does not get that there's other narratives out there than her own bloody mind. If you do not like do what she says and go and not growing the way she would like, like you won't be good enough. Like I think I think I wasn't good enough to see the way things going. Like I just I don't know. I get so upset because she turns everything into a drama story. Oh my no, I did this. Cause and that's Sonya. That's why I hate yeah, her. And it's I'm not sorry. even the truth. Bro. I don't mean to cut you off, but this is why I've hated her so because exactly what you're saying, coming from the horse's mouth syndrome. Like this, I I, I knew I I mm, I knew what Tanya was about the second she got on TV. The first episode, I'm like, this bitch is fucking, she's a liar. And like, I knew it from the second she got on that show.